Welcome back to another episode of Found But Still Lost. If you're new to the channel, thank you for joining us. My name is Leslie, and I hope you guys have a great week and enjoy the episode. <laughs> Taking yeah. the hair off that damn dog. He looks so sleepy and cute. Look. There's a lot of shaving, hair. Shaving yeah. the pussy. Oh my god, why'd you say that? What? She's she shaving the pussy. Stop yet. saying that. Mm -hmm. Ew. How'd you like the message I got this morning? It's hot. It's so weird. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit. Uh. Can't blame him. Uh, I don't care. Morning. I had this random guy message me on my Instagram asking if I could be his sugar babe for $2,500 a week. <laughs> the guy doesn't look like he has a pot to piss in either. <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't know what he's thinking. I'm just going to randomly send him like a toe pitcher. I, I don't know. 2500 cents. <laughs> it was weird. It was really weird. Uh, anyways, it is Saturday. It's raining out, and yeah, let's get this vlog started. Good morning. It is a dark and gloomy day, as I mentioned. It's raining, but it kind of allows you to have a nice, slow start to your day. So I'm enjoying my coffee, and I thought throughout this Saturday vlog that I would share with you five things that you don't know about me. So I think the first one I'll start with, maybe I'll do two right now. Okay, the first one I'll start with is, I have like the ugliest mole on my back. And if anyone touches it, like if Matt rubs my back and barely touches it, I like flinch and freak out and I hate it. I'm self-conscious about it when I'm wearing a bathing suit. And if you really want to know, sometimes my hair in the shower gets caught in it because it's, it protrudes that much. And it's just, it's so gross. It looks like a dried up pile of raisins, but, and I've never done anything about it. I've hated it my entire life and I've never done anything about it until now. I do have a referral to go see a plastic surgeon to have it taken off. So, Hopefully that will come off before the summer this year. The second thing you might not know about me is that I hate the taste of alcohol. I don't think there is one drink that I really thoroughly enjoy. Yeah, not one. Like, I hate the taste of it. I worked at a liquor store for years and still hate the taste of it. I understand wine and what makes a good wine. I understand rye and how it's aged and I still hate it all. Hate it, hate it all. And I'm also pretty judgy about people who like take photos with their beer in their hand and they're like in their forties and they still think they're cool going, yeah, look at me, I have a bush light in my hand. I don't know, I think that's really lame. Okay, anyways, those are my two out of my five things about me. Um, I think Matt and I are going to go make pancakes. We bought this new mix. It's called, I don't think it's new to the world, but it's new to us. It's called Kodak, Kodak pancake mix. And it's like a high protein pancake mix. So if you've watched some of my previous videos, you can probably see a trend going on where I'm trying, trying to better myself a little bit, to take care of myself. I've called it becoming that girl, but really it's just me becoming me and taking care of myself and prioritizing myself. My kids are also quite a bit older, so I have that luxury right now to do that. So these pancakes are part of that. And Matt was really supportive in buying me $18 pancakes when normally they would cost like two bucks if you bought Aunt Jemima's. So we're gonna try making those today and we'll bring you guys along. And then I also think I might make a banana cake and probably try to exercise a little bit even though it's raining out. And that's gonna be our day. So I hope you enjoy the vlog. 
and thank you to everyone who subscribed. I, my channel is like very teeny. I realized that I only have 58 subscribers. So, and of those 58, sometimes only 30 people actually watch my vlogs. So I don't know if there's anybody that actually cares about five things that they don't know about me. Cause really out here in YouTube land, nobody knows me right now. And that's okay. We'll see you in a bit with the pancakes. Mm, Bath and Body Works strawberry pound cake candles are delicious. All right, so Matt has started a task before we start pancakes. He started this pretty big task of trying to delete duplicate photos off of our computer, and we have tons of them. So now he wants me to go through and delete all the photos that I don't want. Fun. Yeah, I guess they're technically not pancakes. Flappy jackies. Flap deck. I feel bad buying them now because at Costco they had them like a big box for the same price this as 510 that. grams. The box at Costco was like two kilograms. It was like four times the size. I know. We just paid $18 for it. I think, right? Yeah. That's stupid. It's freaking pancakes. Arr, but it gives you the protein. Yeah, but almost everything that has like extra protein in it does not taste good. So I hope you like it. Okay. Or he'll be mad. Do you need a bowl? No, we're just, yeah. We're gonna okay. do uh, the regular flat jack mix. One cup, Kodak, Co is it Kodiak or Kodiak? Kodak. I said Kodak, but is there an I, I in it? I think it's Kodiak. Probably gonna need a whisk. Look at this drawer, that's embarrassing. I'm gonna make two cups of pancakes with. Let's just do one and see what it does because they're 18 bucks. That's how you do that. Congratulations, you've struck whole grain gold. Yeah. For the price of it. It better be gold. Oh, look at those arms. You don't need protein. Yes, I do. I don't. That was $18. Holy. You're going to use half of it balls. in one pile of pancakes. <laughs> oh my God. You got to find it at Costco. Yeah, we do. Okay, so there are two options. Two? Well, there's three. Well, there's three. Okay. You just add water, or you yeah. can replace the water with milk, or you can replace the water with milk and add an egg. So we're thinking we're going to go all out and add the milk and an egg because, I mean, they're $18 pancakes. So maybe just adding water isn't smart. I'll go get our pretty eggs. I started buying eggs from a lady that I work with. So she needs her containers back. So I bought this um, egg container from... I think it was Winners. I, think it was. I don't think it was Home Sense. I think it was Winners for like 12 bucks. But man, I love these eggs. <coughs> Does it just need one or was it two? It was one egg. Okay. Boy, my nails look gross. Okay. I'm going to give you one good egg. No, that one's small. I'm going to give it to this guy. Pretty. Gotta seal this up like gold because it is. It is gold. It even says it on the package that it's gold. They ain't good. No. All right, here's your egg. Well, it mixes well. Yeah, it took two seconds to mix, which is good. Let that do its thing for a second. We need I can deal with the eggs. I'll deal with the eggs. Second? Yeah. Like that? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, then he was up super then late. Then you're not that sick. I'm going to start my seeds tomorrow. Yeah? I don't know. 
I'm gonna look to see when I did it last year. Because I did it at a, at a very good time last year, I think. I think so too. We have videos of it. What do you want to do? Do you want a popsicle? <clears throat> and the test tomorrow night. You might not have been drinking green enough water, either. Green green, you see it in the back. Oh yeah. When your throat hurts, brush your teeth a lot and lift green. Like a lot. Like three times a day. Yeah. Don't mess up the expensive pancakes. Oh, Nixon heard the dogs across the street or beside us. Oh! Did you, you hear what that or, asshole said? Or you that one? Is that hot enough? Nope. Do you want just, a lid? No, I did just turn it down. Let's go. Bullshit about it. <gasps> Shit. Not quite ready. I'm gonna wait. Oh. Wow. You just wrecked like ten dollars worth of pancakes. <laughs> oh, it's good though. Yeah. Well, that looks all right. They kind of look fluffy, actually. Mm. That one looks kind of weird because I scraped it. I like it. We need forks and knives. I thought I got forks, but it's because I didn't. You're so weird. No. I'm not. You're weird. Sometimes. Ooh. Look at that. Well, maybe one day when we're famous, we'll be sponsored by Kodiak Pancakes. We'll let you know how they taste. Can I move the table closer to me? It's a bad news with our fingers. I think they look really good. Do they taste gritty? No, they're, they're actually really good. <laughs> really? Yeah. Like I said, usually things that are like high protein just no, you, you don't enjoy taste it. very good. Yeah, they're pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, they are. They don't taste like the high protein at all. No. Mmm. Ooh, the chocolate chips in it's good too. Mmm. They're pretty good. Mm hmm. Kind of better than I thought they'd be. Don't know if you can see that, but yumminess right there. Mmm. Okay, I don't know how much protein is actually in it. 14 grams. Is yeah. that what it says? Per something. Per serving. How big is this serving? Well, there's about 10 servings in each container. Serving size is half a cup. So, so half of this. So half this pancakes. Then it is, how much did you say? 14 grams. That's, a, that's high, I think, isn't it? Like, that's a yeah. lot. Yeah, that's high. Mm. Well, that's a win. Yeah, they're good. Yeah. Okay, Bob, we're going to eat our pancakes. It's good. Okay, so I don't know if you heard me in our room when I was saying how we were going to do our vlog today, but I was going to tell my 58 subscribers five things that they probably did not know about me. I've already done two, but the third one you're going to like. What? We're paycheck to paycheck. We have zero savings. That is the third fact about us, me, that you don't know. I like to spend money, sometimes money I don't even have. We uh. make poor choices when it comes to money. Not all the time, but I would say a good chunk of the time we make very bad choices. 
we had kids when we were very young and we didn't have a lot of money in our savings account. And savings account? Never had a savings account, actually. <laughs> and, um, yeah. So we're paycheck to paycheck. Oh. And we buy $18 pancakes. Amen. That's one of those good choices we made. Sometimes you have to enjoy the finer things in life. Hmm. You, you you can't, well, we do live paycheck to paycheck. We 100% do. But we also have decent jobs, considering. We have decent jobs, but I gave up a job that paid me, well, I would say significantly more. I almost double that one time. No, I'm not talking about that one, because oh. I hated it. I'm going to talk about the one at the LCBO. It was, it was a good job. It paid me more than what I'm making now. But... I always had to work like during the busiest times of the year when everyone would rather be at home or at the beach or um, celebrating Christmas, like working Boxing Day just is stupid and I don't know. So I, I gave up making better money to have like a better work-life balance if there is such a thing. Mm, this is going on a ramble, bye. <clears throat> Going to San Francisco. You're nuts. <laughs> What's wrong? I'm on the bike. I'm doing it. Matt's still cleaning. Mom man. And Nixon's still napping. And it's still gloomy outside. Not very nice. And then after I do this, I'm gonna go to the grocery store and grab buttermilk to make the cake that I wanna make. It's nice to someone still outside walking with their kids. You know it's gloomy. So it's Matt's turn to delete <laughs> photos. Hi. I did ooh, get rid of that one. The boat one, yeah. I and whoever believe. the gingerbread men are, like who cares? Hey. Hey. I can't believe that it didn't get rid of the duplicates like it said it would. Yeah. But there's so know. many still. So I did it for a while. Yeah. Matt worked on some shelves that we're going to put up in the bathroom. Yeah. And I'm going to go over to Matt's sister who lives across the street from us. And I'm going to give her a little gift that we got her. Yeah. It's nothing big, but. Yes, it is. Just something to say we love you. Yes. So this is a gift we got. Michelle, we got her a reusable bag from Ikea and this really cute drawer mat that's like a rainbow. So, I hope it makes her day. I'm going to walk over and drop it off, but I think I'm going to put a hat on because I'm greasy. And, and then I'm going to go to the grocery store. I forgot to put my hat on, but I'm not sure that I really care at this point. Just running to the grocery store, so... Whatever. People don't like my hair, they don't like my hair. Yay, I hope she likes it. Oh, shit. <laughs> I can't wait for a couple more days and we won't have to wear these things anymore. I'm excited for that. I hope it lasts though. I hope that we don't have to wear the mask ever again. Found the buttermilk. Yeah. I'm gonna eat one of these. Oh, me too. No. Mm. Nixon, you this want to go is tired? a small cucumber. Want to go tired? Go tired. We're going to eat yeah. it. Nixon, what's this? Come here. Want to go tired? Probably not because you just brought out the meat. I know. And then I'll come and give you a treat. Okay. Let's go for it. We'll get out our fancy tray. Peel some carrots and have a 
little bit of that. Small lunch, and then I'm gonna make the cake. Stop with the good night. This is your treat. I actually don't own a good knife. This is a really old one from Ikea. And we were just saying that when we were at Costco yesterday. Because yeah. the, the business Costco has like sets and knives for restaurants and stuff. And I'm thinking, hmm. Mm -hmm. Might be time to get my hands on some of those. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. Mm -hmm. Maybe I need it. Gotta have it. There's that whole paycheck to paycheck thing though that I was talking about. Oh, oh while I'm doing this, I should mention another one of the five things that you don't know about me or might not know about me. I have like no friends. I'm a loner and don't feel bad about it. Like I don't feel bad about it. <laughs> Matt's laughing, but I really am. Like all I've ever cared about really is Matt and the kids and my parents and family and everything else came second. So I don't have a lot of friends. I didn't grow up in Port Coburn. So um, I kind of feel like if this is kind of a place where if you weren't born here, you don't 100% like fit. I'm not saying people aren't nice. They're super nice here. I love living here. But if you weren't born side by side, you're kind of not in the group, which is, it's, it's okay. So I like being a loner. I like doing things by myself. And if I'm not by myself, I'm, like I said, with family. Or I have one very good friend who lives in um, Ottawa. She's been my best friend since grade 10. And we are like total opposites. But we get along amazingly. And I just, I love her. I have one other friend from high school. She's a little bit younger than I am. But um, her her and I hang out not often, but I don't feel like we have to either. We text each other. We seem to be on the same wavelength a lot. And uh, we were supposed to get together over the March break, but it just, it couldn't happen. And then of course I do have a good group of girlfriends from um, when I went to camp. So most of them live in Toronto or they've all kind of spread out over the years, but I'd say the majority of them are in Toronto. And I love those girls. They're like sisters, even though we don't see each other very often. We don't, we don't need to. So yeah, that's, that's number four. And we still have one, one more secret to go. But, well, not really secret. Just one, one more thing you may not know about me. Having a, a late lunch. Still in my pajamas. And I got back into my comfies. <laughs> I was only out to drop off Michelle's gift. And then I came um, back, got the car, went to the grocery store, came back, made lunch, and then changed. Because I just can't do it today. I don't feel like being dressed. Me neither. No. Do you want me to get you a dipping sauce for I just have... Sour cream because oh, no, it's the um, jalapeno flavors. Oh, one pound. One pound. All right, let's see. These are really good. These are from uh, Farm Boy. Yeah, they're actually really good. And they're uh, like wontons. Oh. And they're like so good. Oh, God. Take a bite. Mmm. Mm, like so good. Mm. Are you feeling okay? Like it. It's like lit. Where do you say when things are cool? You use a certain word and I make funny sometimes. I don't remember what it is. We did it yesterday. Mm -hmm. mm, I don't know either. Let's eat. <laughs> it's 3.30 and <laughs> we're back in bed. It's a very yeah. slow Saturday. I'm sleepy. I know, me too. I have a question. Yes. If I asked you to go get me a Band-Aid donut, would you know what that is? <laughs> yeah. You would? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to let Matt 
go and get the Band-Aid donut and then I will explain to you what the fifth and final thing you probably didn't know about me is. Um, I also, I made the cake. I didn't feel like filming it because I really didn't even feel like making the cake. And there's a bit of a chance that I may have forgot to put half a cup of flour in it. I may have miscounted, so hopefully it works. But while the cake's in the oven, I'm just going to relax. Yes. Yeah. Turn it off. Let's relax. Okay. I love Cuddle. you. All right, so I just pulled the cake out of the oven and I think I may have burnt it just a little bit. Matt and I fell asleep and I didn't check on the cake once, just let the alarm go off and actually Tristan's the one who heard the alarm and got up and checked, but I may have burnt it just a little bit. It might be slightly overcooked. But anyways, the oven was on, so I decided to throw in some Costco frozen chocolate chip cookies as well. And I'll give some to my parents and maybe Michelle across the street. Matt ran out to prove that he knew what I was talking about when I said Biden Day Donuts. So let me explain. I think this is my fifth thing you don't know about me is that I think that double chocolate donuts from Tim Hortons taste like Band-Aids, but I've never tasted a Band-Aid. <laughs> And I like it, which is super weird. But every time we go to Hortons and I get one, which isn't often, but um, what I do, I always refer to it as the Band-Aid donut. So we'll see if he gets the right donut. If he does, then he knows for sure. But he probably knows. So here I am at Tim Hortons. Getting Leslie her... Double chocolate band-aid donut. <gasps> Who's that? Hey. Hey. I got you your band-aid donut. You know what it is? Oh, I know what it is. Okay, let's see. What are you doing? What are you doing? <gasps> That's it. He he got it. The double chocolate donut. I don't know why I think it tastes like a Band-Aid. It is a Band-Aid. It looks like a butthole. <laughs> That's a weird looking butthole. Well, what does yours look like? I I've seen yours. <laughs> a little nicer than that. Band-Aid. <laughs> Doesn't taste like chocolate to me. Tastes like a band-aid. Yeah. Hey, what we're cooking for dinner is... We're making orchette. Orchette with, with sausage, sausage and broccoli. Orchette with sausage and broccoli. <laughs> What's happening? Orchette with sausage and broccoli. I had, I had a nap for like an hour and now I'm just, I'm done. I'm done for the day. So Matt's helping me dinner and we're trying a new recipe. So this should be. Yeah, we're trying no chai. <laughs> this is how it's turned out so far. Matt helped a lot with this dish. I'm not sure what it's going to taste like. There's really no sauce. It's just oil, oil, butter. butter and garlic and some chicken broth and then you do this matt hasn't got out of his pajamas not all day all day all day every day come get you all the all the Can you put forks on the table? Ooh, your forks were right behind that. Oh, bowl. there's one. Bam. Ooh. Oh. Uh, I like whacked it. Where? Flat? No. Gross. Diet. I don't know how you see the difference. I don't notice that. It's because my body's adapted. 
To what? So much. Sugar. I just know everything. <laughs> so what do you think of dinner? Oh, me. We well, see the noodles are al dente and the broccoli is still crisp but cooked. The sausage is mild and tasty. I like it. And what about you, fine sir? Come on, this dish. If you had to score it out of 10. I like this dish. Have finesse. Mmm. Kuru. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Noodles cooked perfectly. Couldn't have a little bit more seasoning. Would Gordon Ramsay be impressed or would he yell at me? Fucking raw! <laughs> <laughs> I think dinner's a hit. <laughs> well, thanks for watching another episode of Found But Still Lost. We'll see you next week. Bye!